Lawmakers in the lower house of the Dutch parliament have approved a motion recognizing Armenian genocide. Thus, a Dutch cabinet member will be present at the Armenian genocide commemoration in Yerevan in April. In this connection, the Chargé d'Affaires of the Netherlands was summoned to the Turkish Foreign Ministry. Two young children died in the fire that broke out in a house in Dadivank village in Artsakh. The village mayor said these infants were seven-month-old twins. The cause of the fire is still unknown. The decision was made and the ruling coalition will formally nominate Armen Sarkisyan's candidacy for the post of fourth president of Armenia. ARF Dashnak Sutun MP Agvan Vartanian informed that they already are collecting the signatures needed for nominating Republican Party of Armenia's candidate for next president and that about six signatures have been collected. The president of Madagascar will pay a state visit to Armenia within the frame of La Francophonie summit later this year, Foreign Minister Henri Rabari Njaka said during his visit to Yerevan. The minister said the trip will provide a good opportunity for signing of bilateral documents and promotion of economic ties. The sides also plan to hold a meeting of entrepreneurs. The body of a 26-year-old man was found in Hrazdan River in capital city Yerevan on Friday. Later in the day, police said the man had been missing since January 30th. No traces of violence were found on the body and an investigation is underway. Figure skater Alina Zagitova became Olympic champion in the ladies' single skating event at the 2018 Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang, South Korea. The 15-year-old athlete won Russia's first gold medal at Pyeongchang 2018. Her compatriot Yevgenia Medvedeva won silver. <laughs>